Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. Well this is an interesting one because it's not actually a metal detecting video. I had a phone call from Neil and he said, I've just got you an invite to come and detect and look at my permission. So he said, come up, meet me at the farm. I've got some interesting things to show you. So I'm on my way. Neil's had this permission for about 30 years now, mainly as a shooting permission. And he's been the only person allowed to detect here. So now the landowner said he's allowed to bring a guest. So we're gonna put quite a lot of time into this new permission because it's got a moated manor house just over there. We've got some LiDAR pictures, which is gonna show us exactly where it is. It looks pretty big, it looks impressive. The moat's still there. And um, what are we gonna be finding here in the woods? Oh, well, mainly shotgun cartridges, yeah. is, is, is bullets and things like that, because it's been a shoot for, for probably over a century or more. So we need to use a different approach, don't we? I think the first thing is, let's not detect this until winter time no. because it looks a little bit too overgrown at the minute um but we can still have a mooch around yeah. find find this moat find the manor house um you know pretty much where it is so yeah, yeah lead the way man okay you see the bank there oh just raising up just over there because yeah. you probably can't see it guys but there's a raised up bank there I think the canopy as well, the tree canopy is opening up, look. You see it went from like dense, dense trees there, and you can see the light there, the blue skies through the canopy. We could still detect this, look. It looked overgrown when we got it, didn't it? Yeah, but this is, this is detectable. This is detectable, yeah. Always is. This is what it's like all the time, yeah. We're nearly at the motive bit. This is getting quite exciting, look at that. And over the far side there, you've got a, like a bridge. Basically, is the best way of putting it, where the moat meets, and then you've got a walkway going into where the manor was, which was in that clump there, where, where it is all overgrown again. So this is the actual moat then. So your, your manor house is through, through there. So now we're approaching what would have been the entrance to the manor house. You see the moat comes around the back there. So there would be a walkway this is the walkway over into the manor house, yeah? Yeah. And if you look at the LiDAR, you'll see a direct line of a track coming down to it. Okay, so we've got moat this side, moat this side. Yeah. Correct? Yes, sir. It goes off, it goes round the back of it, and there's a pond over the back there. That is unbelievable because out in the field, you can't even get your spade in very well. It's really dry. We haven't had rain for a long, long time. Yeah, in here, there's still loads of water. I wonder how deep that is. I wonder if, what's at the bottom of that moat. Rather you than me getting into it, mate, because that is gonna be seriously stinky and uh, yeah, some horrible things in there, is it? Let's see if we can find the other side of the moat. Whoa. Wow, here it is, look, look. That is so cool. Guys, I'm actually stood in a medieval moat here. And this is the perimeter of the building. It goes all the way down and around. Yeah, unfortunately, like I say, you can't dig it. That's the problem. You see the moat goes over the back there now. Okay. It cuts around. It's right. fed by the same spring is what's feeding this pond now. So this this pond is actually within the boundaries within of the, the boundaries moat. Within the boundaries of the moat, yeah. Wow. That's where they would have had their food source from. Imagine what's at the bottom of that, mate. Oh. Imagine. Well, you think of places, you know, you hear people say that, oh, everywhere's been detected, everywhere's yeah. been done, but that's not, not true, is it? There's so many places which have been undiscovered. Um, all right, a lot of them may have uh, scheduled monuments on them and things like that, but you still got to keep looking. You've got to dig deep and you've got to find these places what you're allowed to dig and get permission. Right, so this is nothing to do with the moat. No, it's, it's, no. This is a separate stream. Separate, separate little stream, but so it dries up, and then in the winter, it runs quite quite deep, well, up to your knees. Yeah. But it's really, really stony, isn't it? Yeah. Really I mean, this even in the fields, there isn't this sort of stone. You'd expect to see stone like this, perhaps in the Cotswolds, but not here in Hampshire. So that was interesting. I'm really looking forward to getting the old detector out in that ancient woodland. 
but there's another side to this farm as well which um, I'm really interested in looking at apparently according to our, our guide here there's another wood just over the back there which is full of dead cars it's like a car graveyard going back to the 50s looking forward to that so if you're interested in old cars let's get over there and have a little walk through the woods looks like a, a Volkswagen Golf buried completely buried there look and there's an old house it's all boarded up the landowner doesn't live here anymore but they've just kept the land what's that no idea what that is look so it could be another VW yeah Now you might not see that in, on camera, but inside there looks like a Morris Traveller. You can just see the, the side of it there, look. No, I can't really see it, but trust me, there's a Morris Traveller underneath there. Just there, uh, what's Foxhall, that? Foxhall 101, Vauxhall 101, yep. Yeah. Look at that. That was someone's pride and joy once upon a time. How can I just leave them like this? And also, don't, these buildings, I dread to think what's inside these buildings. So <laughs> this is the modern, the modern stuff. That looks like it's all asbestos, look at that building. Yeah, it is asbestos, isn't yeah, it? Crikey. Full of junk. Is it? It's a hoarder. As you can see. If you look inside the woods there, look, there's... I mean, this is where the older cars are near, I'm guessing. I mean, there's rotted out cars there, there's a camper there. Look at this just behind there. What? That is, I think, an is it an A40? Austin, yeah. Austin A40. Austin special. Isn't it? Austin of England. There is one here, though. Look at this one. This one's still sign written. I've no idea what that one is. That's before our age even. It's before us, isn't it? It's, it's before us. Even before us. It's got a so what's door. it? <laughs> it's got a slidey door on it. Retail Cooperative Services Limited. No idea. Still got the engine in it. See, see the engine there. Unbelievable. This is an old um, Austin 2200 perhaps. Vaguely remember these. I'll send you a mix.
little button thing, look. Hang over there, but I think the pike is nicked it. There's a, a mangle. Really old mangle it was. Go on. Yeah, there's a, a mangle. Again, a restoration project. Perfect restoration project. Look at that mangle. Unbelievable. That's in surprisingly good condition, isn't it? Yeah, you could restore that. There's everything here, look. There's, there's a roof to something, look, just down there. Yeah, that, was a, that was a vehicle. That was, that's, that's probably a vehicle there. Bumpers, chrome bumpers. That's a, that's a, a roller. Trailer. Bam. It was bigger. Front end of a bulldozer. Amazing. I don't think we'll be detecting around here though, Neil, do you? Uh, Might be a little bit too um, busy on the old signal. Wasn't that a Peugeot type thing? It Simca. looked like a Peugeot, but it's the uh, Simca and the, the whole of the body you could take off. It, it was a one piece chassis. <sighs> Twin carb, we well, like it did go well actually. I bought that for, not that one, but the one I bought was for £60. Pounds. That's the old bulldozer. You've got two, two little tractors that we fixed up. We used them for dragging the trailer around with the grain in for the pheasant feed. Wow. Works. Well, this thing, I have no idea what it is, but it's full of tin foil pie trays. Look, they're all underneath. So, I have no idea what that is or was. That looks like a Ford Popular to me. Yeah, that's a full pop for that's crying out loud. Full pop, man. Yeah, the trees come down on it. Yeah. The trees come down on it. Yeah. Do you know what? Must be worth a mint. Look at that. Look at that. I'm actually shocked that you can still find stuff like this in the woods, in the forest. You'd think someone would have had that 20, 30 years ago even. But no, it's still sat there doing nothing. I must admit, this farm has got a real creepy feel to it. Not just because there's stuff laying around, but I've got, I can feel like a creepy energy to it. Something quite sinister. So I don't really know what happened to the owners, why they've left in such a hurry, why they've left all this stuff. Who knows? But it's certainly worth investigating a little bit more. Here we go. No idea what that is. That's obviously the front axle suspension. Hate to think what's living under there in that hole. This place must come alive at night no. with animals and yeah. things like that. Some of them last very long, though. No. I was just saying, what's that? Ah, oh, fantastic. So they're even doing devil worship in here every other Sunday. Why not drop by? I had to. Do you remember the old Simonis polish? Simonis.
polish, there it is, look. Side loading door. Twin side loaders, wow. Mid-engined. Interesting, but scary. I'm certainly, ah, I'm certainly no explorer. I'll tell you that for nothing. Admire from a distance, that's me. I don't want to go poking around in these buildings. I know a lot of people would love to do that, but nah, that's not me. You can keep all that. Where would you start? Tellies, fridges, blankets. I mean, what's underneath all these tarpaulins and blankets? Look, there's a wooden wheel there. What else can I see? There's got to be some really cool stuff in here. Oh yeah, look, just see the roof of another one too. Somewhere underneath there is the Morris Traveller with the wooden panels. Really? Yeah. There's a car down there. That looks like a Morris Traveller with a roof rack on it. Just there is another Morris Traveller. And this is one of the fields we're going to be detected in. Surprisingly hot out here, but there's still a load of moisture underfoot. So it's retaining moisture really well. Um, I think it'd be interesting having a little detect underneath this dried up stream because this is this is ancient The only thing what slightly worries me is it's a dirty farm. There's just so much crap laying around It's unbelievable covered in spiders webs So that's going to be tough, but hopefully the fields I mean the fields go back to the doomsday book Neil's got loads and loads of information on that so it's going to be really interesting to get going and just try and do a little survey of the land in the winter time as i said we're going to have a search around that moated area another little shed and stuff there look so looking at this house now what's the story behind it well it's a strange one actually i mean it's pretty secluded up there and uh, the locals rumor is that uh, all the residents were taken one by one at night time uh, go outside disappear and then eventually the whole lot just just went just, just, just disappeared and the owner that i know i mean it was her family and she you know she's won't go in it she just won't go in it so why have they all disappeared one by one then werewolves what? i'm gonna get out of here before it gets dark because i don't want to fall victim to these these werewolves now but um Thanks for watching. I appreciate this isn't a metal detecting video, but I thought you guys would just like to see like our new permission and what plans we've got for the next coming months. So thanks for watching if indeed you still are and I'll see you on the field very, very soon.